Hello YouTube and welcome back again to another horror film review. Uh, I'm Faligar here reviewing uh, a film here for the Horror Globe that I'm going to post uh, both on, on the Horror Globe here and uh, also on my channel so you'll find this uh, on, on both channels. <sighs> so let's see, this is like the third one tonight. Uh, the first one uh, which I watched with Brian um, and, you know, a little bit with my brother coming on and off of the film, uh, starting with The Fun House, and then he left, Brian left, and then I watched um, The Batman versus Dracula, and then finally ending off with the film I'm about to review right now. It's like 3.25 in the morning, but uh, no worries. Slugs, and I know uh, one person in particular uh, was awaiting this review. I believe it was uh, Mark who kind of said, "Looking forward to the Slugs review." I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive it's Mark, uh, which uh, his YouTube name is uh, Killer Nerd uh, Seventy Five. So I encourage you folks to uh, go check out his channel. Uh, he does uh, he uh, he does some fantastic work and uh, just makes some great great entertaining videos and uh, just very knowledgeable about films and horror films in general and has a vast collection so check out his channel and if you love his work which I'm sure you will give that guy a sub uh, because he truly deserves it but getting back to slugs here first of all I love 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 this cover great cover and I love the logo how it's written slugs it's like a slimy, almost like the, the slime trail of, of the slug that uh, the slugs leave behind. And the way it's, you know, the, what the, f you know, they use just a font there to write slugs. Beautiful image of a woman with some blood coming out of her mouth. And a slug who has obviously just uh, uh, exited from her mouth. Here's the back. Nice gore picture right there. Beautiful woman in the upper uh, upper right hand corner of the screen there. This was uh, brought to us by the folks over at Anchor Bay. So, slugs. <laughs> well, what I, I got to tell you about this. Uh, I believe it opens up. I'm not too clear because at the beginning part I uh, got up a few times, but there's this guy. I think he was having card trouble, and uh, I believe he fell down or something, and. Um, bunch of these teenagers uh, drive by and just kind of laugh at him I'll laugh at his downfall and um, and he manages to uh, get back up and make his way back home and when he lies down in his couch he gets attacked by these uh, these slugs apparently you don't really see it but you know he gets attacked by these slugs later on there's a character named uh, Mike Brady Yes, Mike Brady, and I believe his wife is Kim Brady. Um, and Mike, he is a sanitation uh, uh, inspector or in, in charge of the sanitation department. In any case, and um, he pays a visit to the uh, to uh, the police department, uh, and uh, <clears throat> I believe the sheriff there tells him to accompany him uh, to uh, this house where uh, I guess this this guy he. Um, didn't show up for work or something. Uh, so, you know, people were concerned apparently. It wasn't, I don't think it really was too clear on, on that, or unless I missed that, that part of it. Um, okay, so in any case, uh, they get there and uh, listen to the music, you know, and they, when, when uh, not the music that's playing, but the, the musical score that they chose to play uh, during that scene when he's riding in the cop car, Mike Brady and the sheriff. It sounds like something right out of chips or something. And um, so anyways, they get to the house and they discover the corpse. And, you know, they're wondering, it's like half eaten, mutilated in some fashion. They're not sure exactly what it could be. At first, they think it could be rats. Um, and then there's another scene where uh, um, there's this old couple who has a garden. And uh, the slugs get the hem. And let's just say that it ends in, in this grand explosion which was uh, quite nice. So eventually, uh, Mike Brady and this other gentleman, his friend, they come to the conclusion uh, that it's these slugs, you know, because um, well, there's actually one scene where uh, 
uh, Mike Brady's uh, uh, wife, Kim, uh, when Mike gets home, um, they oversee the garden and uh, they see this slug, you know, that's uh, there on the, on, the, on the floor or on the ground. And um, Mike goes to, to touch it. And you see the slug just go for his finger and bite it, take a little piece off his finger there. So they capture this slug and put it in a jar and take it to a, uh, a um, you know, to the lab. And I guess it's a good friend of theirs, a uh, scientist. And um, later on, he de de you know, he determines that it's uh, the killer slugs are mutated uh, due to the fact that I guess the town was built in over some toxic uh, waste dump. And the whole plot of the film is just basically Mike, the doctor, or the scientist, I should say, uh, and his friend trying to uh, come up with a way to uh, uh, to to stop these uh, killer slugs who are asexual, so they can basically uh, fertilize their own eggs. So it's going to be a, a difficult task to undertake. Uh, so before I go on, let me go ahead and read the synopsis here. <laughs> They're abnormally large. They have four rows of teeth. There are millions of them, and they're all hungry. But these are no ordinary slugs. When toxic waste contaminates, contaminates their water system, these vicious creatures mutate into carnivorous killers that invade a small town. Soon, local drunks, kindly old gardeners, evil businessmen, and horny teens all meet unspeakable and slimy deaths. Can the rampage be stopped before the entire community is devoured by the flesh-eating horror? Directed by J.P. Simmon, creator of the notorious Pod People and Pieces. Not too familiar with uh, Pod People, I think so I know, but uh, Pieces, I'm not too sure I know that film. Uh, Slug combines the outrageous fun of 50s horror flicks with ultra-gross doses of 80s gore, and it has quite a bit of gore in here. Uh, so lock the doors, bolt the windows, and wash the lettuce. Slugs is not your garden variety of horror shocker. And this is uh, brought to us, like I said, by the folks over at uh, Anchor Bay. Uh, surprisingly, I guess maybe not surprisingly, I suppose. There's no special features for this, although it would have been nice. There isn't even a commentary. The film is 90 minutes long, rated R, and it was uh, came out in... I believe I saw somewhere it was in, uh, yeah, 87. I have to say, I like the, uh, and the inside covering. You got to see this. Um, see that? I guess that's like the poster art for it. Looks very nice. You can see it's like the skull, and the spine, and the slugs uh, going into his head. And the uh, beautiful disc art. It's the same image of that teenage girl being eaten by slugs. Very, very nice indeed. So, I have to tell you that um, uh, there, there's you know, like a couple nude scenes, I suppose. Very, very brief ones coming from the, uh, the horny teens. Uh, there's a, a decent sex scene, uh, followed by, of course, uh, 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 them being consumed by the carnivorous slugs. Um, Ouch! Quite painful. When I say you know about with the gore, there there isn't a whole lot, but there, I mean there's 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 a decent amount of, of gore scenes, but uh, they're they're really really uh, cool looking, very uh, pretty pretty graphic. Now I've seen worse now, but for folks who are maybe you know haven't seen a lot of these types of films or a lot of uh, horror flicks, it might be a, a little much. There's a scene where apparently this. Um, this gentleman and you're gonna find that there's a lot of scenes in here where it would jump to certain characters where apparently the only purpose for showing these scenes and focusing on these characters is just to witness them die uh, they didn't really do anything to really forward the plot uh, too much it was just really there to uh, I mean it's it somewhat I guess contributed to forwarding the plot as of you know because of you know the body counts uh, you know piling up but it's just kind of a uh, it really has that feel that it, it was just really, sh uh, it really just uh, put that scene out there, made, made that scene just to uh, show the death, you know, the death scene. Because there are other ways that they could have um, forwarded the, the, the storyline. 
um, other than those, you know. Um, the acting is very, very uh, cheesy. At the beginning, it seemed like it was going to be okay, and then after that first, like, five, ten minutes, the cheese factor started kicking in in the acting, and it was uh, <laughs> almost, almost borderline uh, porn acting, maybe slightly above. Soundtrack is uh, pretty cheesy and corny as well. Um, and yeah. Now, with that being said, did I still enjoy this film? And I have to say, yes, I did. I had a lot of fun with it. Because let me tell you the good stuff about it is, uh, of course, everything's all practical effects. And I don't know, um, you know, nowadays with, you know, with the slug effects, it would probably just use CG. But these are actual slugs that they, they use and somehow maybe magnify them to uh, make them look bigger. And there's like hundreds and hundreds of slugs that you see. So somehow, you know, they gathered them and placed them all over the place, apparently. And they're real slugs. There's And everything's all practical effects. The gore effects are all practical gore effects. And it just looks magnificent. It just looks absolutely uh, beautiful, in my, in my opinion. I mean, look at that. Look at that, look at that girl. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely beautiful, in my personal opinion, okay? Um, but, um, I kind of lost my train of thought here. I was talking about the gore. Oh, yes, yes. So, yeah, so if it was made like nowadays, it would um, CG the, um, the, the, the slugs, you know? And um, so, you know, I don't know how they uh, managed to... Uh, gather all these uh, these slugs and oh and some of the practical effects are um, very very few I mean you it's like when there was a close-up which I think there was only one when uh, Mike Brady went to uh, touch the slug and it might have been like a, a, a puppet uh, uh, slug but it was a really really well-made puppet because it the way it transitioned from the uh, when it cut to the real slug and then cut to the uh, the puppet the puppet slug I assume it's a puppet slug um, it looked it looked real. It didn't really look like a puppet at all, to be honest with you. Um, so very 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 good job on that. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the the gore effects were good. I uh, really love that. Uh, there's uh, there's one scene um, where, which I was getting to before I, I started talking about you know, the certain, you know, what the death scenes were were there for. Um, where uh, this this couple, where this guy's wife, I mean, I don't know, kind of weird, her voice, it was, uh, she had a really, really uh, strange, strange voice. You have to see it. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was kind of like deep and almost like a man's voice, but not important. Anyways, um, she's cutting up uh, lettuce. You know, she put it in the sink and she was cutting up this lettuce and apparently one of the slugs uh, got into the lettuce and she didn't see it. And, she, you know, she, you see her cut it up and you can see the, the slug being cut from within the lettuce. And you don't see it being consumed, but apparently uh, the husband was the one that had the, the salad and she did not, I guess. And um, he started uh, complaining later on about stomach aches. And a couple of days go by, and um, one day uh, at uh, at a meeting in a restaurant, I guess apparently uh, whatever parasites uh, that he got from it moved to his brain, and uh, it's a very very beautiful gore shot, gore scene where uh, his face practically kind of like just bursts or explodes, particularly from his eye sockets, uh, the, all these uh, parasitic uh, white almost like clear white worms burst out of his eyes and you see it and out of his nose, his mouth, and it was just gorgeous. Uh, loved it. Um, what else can I say? So that was a good scene right there. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Of course now, being a very cheesy, um, and I guess somewhat low-budget film, although, like I said, the effects were, uh, despite being, I guess, a low-budget film, the effects were, uh, practical effects were, were still quite nice, and the gore effects, quite nice. But um, there's some things where, you know, there, there's uh, there's uh, uh, um, things that just didn't really make sense, maybe. Uh, for example, I guess maybe like an oversight 
like uh, where the the scientist when he's mixing up these chemicals for you know it's part of their their plan which I don't want to get into or spoil, but uh, when he's mixing up the chemicals in this barrel, you know it's all acidic and everything. He's not even wearing gloves, not even wearing a mask for the fumes. He's just just doing it, you know. Um, there are other scenes where, uh, well, of course, you got the usual thing where uh, folks don't believe uh, Mike Brady. He's trying to warn uh, everyone, talking to the uh, the mayor and everyone and the, and the sheriff, and they still don't believe him, wanting to shut down the you know the water supply. Uh, so yeah, you know, it, you've got your typical thing, you know, typical uh, cliched characters such as you know the, the the horny teens like you know what I read in the back. Uh, then the the heroes. I always love these films where uh, you have like a small group of people getting together to uh, to try to uh, um, uh, uh, stop like a, a, like a plague or or stop a certain villain. You know, I just I absolutely love that. And uh, um, yeah, what, what was something I, I wanted to say? Oh, what's nice? What what makes this film uh, perfect for Halloween is that uh, it takes place uh, during the month of Halloween in October. As a matter of fact. I think it actually takes place uh, uh, during the week of Halloween because it leads up to a Halloween party. So just, you know, perfect, you know. Okay, so I guess nothing more can be said other than, you know, the picture quality and sound quality were, 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 were good, you know, were quite good for a low-budget film and for just being on DVD. And my final score for this film, huh, I'm going to be uh, quite honest with you folks. Um... I would have to give slugs. Okay, here's the thing. As it is, don't be fooled by the score now. I would have to give it a... I guess a generous 2.75, okay? 2.75 out of 5. 2.5 would just be average now. Not good, not bad. So this gets a generous 2.75, just slightly above average. If the acting was a bit better, and if the soundtrack was better, I could see myself giving this film like a, a generous 3 out of 5. But as it is, you know, a generous 2.75 is by no means a, a terrible score. There's still far worse, such as uh, Children of the Corn, uh, 666, uh, uh, Isaac's return, uh, or the very shitty, uh, or even those, uh, you know, the last two Children of the Corn, Revelation and Genesis, those were practically shit as well. Um, and the absolute shit is, um, shitty film is uh, Horror House on Highway 5. Okay, that was terrible. So this is, you know, much better than those films, I thought. Um, so don't be fooled by that score, you know, 2.75. Now, it doesn't mean it's it's good, really, but it is still slightly above average, and I could still see myself watching this, uh, you know, uh, every so often, especially during Halloween time, seeing how it, you know, leads up to Halloween. So 2.75, uh, generous 2.75, 2.75, sorry, uh, for slugs, okay? Um, yeah, so I guess that's all I have to say about this uh, this film. I hope you, uh, oh, and I do, uh, whether I recommend this film, let me just uh, say that I will, it gets a very, very, very mild recommendation um, just to like average movie goers. But if you're into this sort of thing where, you know, into gore effects and, uh, you know, it doesn't bother you with, you know, blood and just seeing like worms and slugs, uh, you're into cheesy films, uh, then it, it I can recommend it to those folks that, that like that kind of stuff. But just to average, uh, 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 moviegoers, um, maybe like a, a very, very extreme, mild uh, uh, recommendation, okay? And uh, one to hit for Halloween. Okay, so thank you folks for watching, and farewell.